नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सम्मुद्ध गुड ईवनिंग टू एव्री वन डिय धम्म फ्रेंड्स टूडे ऑलसो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सम फैक्ट्स अबाउट द स्पिरिचुअल पार्थ सो वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट सम फैक्ट्स अबाउट दि स्पिरिचुअल पार्थ ड्यूरिंग सेवरल धम्म सर्मेंट्स स्टिल वी आर इन द सेगमेंट अबाउट द कॉन्सट्रेशन एक्चुअली वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्री रिक्विजिट्स फॉर द कॉन्सट्रेशन फॉर डिवेलपिंग द कॉन्सट्रेशन सो वी नो वाट ईज नाउ वी हैव सेवरल टाइम्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड और वी हैव वी हैव एम्पसाइज वाट ईज द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ द कॉन्सट्रेशन फॉर द spiritual path in order to achieve the higher levels of this uh, path uh, what kind of a concentration we need there are different uh, types of concentrations someone can uh, develop uh, this concentration to a absorption level it is the highest level you can develop uh, in this concentration segment or by developing the tranquility you can achieve the jhanas we call the jhana concentration or the uh, absorption concentration that is the higher levels of this uh, concentration or you can achieve uh, not the absorption levels but the excess concentration levels we call the upachara samadhi why we call it is upachara samadhi it is in the vicinity or it is close uh, very close for the अपना समाधि ओ द झान समाधि ओ द एब्सोपन कॉन्सनट्रेशन सो सम वन कैन डिवलप द ट्रैंक्विटी एंड अचीव दिस एक्सेस कॉन्सनट्रेशन वी कॉल द उपचार समाधि ओ सम वन कैन ईवन नॉट ईवन द झान कॉन्सनट्रेशन ओ नॉट ईवन द उपचार ओ द एक्सेस कॉन्सनट्रेशन सम वन कैन डिवलप द ट्रैंक्विटी टू सम एक्सटेंट एंड अचीव सम काइंड ऑफ सम सॉर्ट ऑफ कॉन्सनट्रेशन इन द माइंड he has not uh, suppressed these uh, hindrances completely uh, like in the upachara samadhi and the uh, jhana samadhi but he is having some level of concentration he has uh, suppressed to some extent these uh, hindrances so uh, why we need these kind of levels of the concentrations in order to have a like a suitable mind to develop the vipassana we know Uh, during the vipassana we are like uh, thinking about we are analyzing the sankhara in order to analyze the sankhara we have to uh, give the attention we have to uh, realize we have to observe the these uh, objects or the sankharas in different different aspects in order to do that we have to spend much time with the object so that's why we need the concentration without having a proper or the suitable mind which is having some level of concentration you cannot uh, develop or you can you cannot do the vipassana in a very effective and efficient way this is why we need uh, this concentration why we need uh, the vipassana we need, uh, in order to achieve the higher levels of insight knowledge we call the vipassana jnana and the end is the achieve the achievements of the the noble paths we call the magga jnana so that is the way how you can eradicate these defilements defilements completely otherwise you cannot uh, eradicate or completely eliminate these defilements from your mind and uh, to become arahant so that is why we need vipassana in order to develop the vipassana we need concentration because we have to have a proper or suitable mind to do this vipassana that is why uh, we were talking about this concentration uh, during several dhamma sermons now actually we are in the prerequisites for this concentration we have not come to the uh, levels of the concentrations yet but we are talking about the uh, prerequisites for this concentration 
uh, at the beginning we were talking about the uh, like about the virtue or the morality that is uh, like a must what we have to do what we have to follow in order to develop the higher levels of the spiritual path without having a proper or the uh, like pure virtue pure morality you cannot develop you cannot think about the higher levels even the concentration or the vipassana or the insight knowledge or the paths and the fruitions you cannot think about them without having a, a very strong foundation with the virtue so we talked about these things and also uh, we talked about what we have to follow de- to develop the uh, sila or the virtue we have to avoid we have to refrain from the bad deeds the unwholesome actions by our body word or the mind so we talked about these things then uh, not only refrain from the the bad deeds we have to engage we have to do some wholesome deeds like dana si uh, bhavana vayavacha apachayana those are called the 10 uh, wholesome deeds we call the dasa punya kriya so we talked about these things now we are in the uh, stage to talk about the concentration now we have been talking about the prerequisites for this concentration so last time we talked about this uh, briefly uh, because about the prerequisites of the concentration in uh, with regards to the uh, hindrances we call the nivarana in pali in the commentaries we can see uh, the hindrances nivarana nivaranaanti aavarana aavarana means the cover what the nivaranas cover all the wholesome deeds and the, to having the concentrations the higher vipassana knowledge insight knowledge and the paths and the fruitions the nivarana cover all these good results that is why we call that nivarana that means they cover all these wholesome uh, deeds and the results of this spiritual path so these hindrances uh, we called uh, we discussed five categories the other kama chanda nivarana sensual desire and the vyapada nivarana we call the ill will or the hatred and the third one is a thina middha nivarana the sloth and torpor the fourth one is the uddacha kukkucha nivarana Uh, that is called the restlessness and the uh, worry and the four, uh, fifth one is the uh, vichikicha that is the doubt those these are the nivaranas or the hindrances which cover our higher levels of the spiritual path or the results what we can gain by developing the spiritual path so uh, we have given a brief introduction about the five hindrances uh, generally and uh, later we talked about the specifically about the kama chanda nivaran the sensual desire so uh, during that uh, dhamma sermon we talked about the the causes for the kama chanda nivarana what is kama chanda nivarana and what are the uh, reasons to arise and what are the uh, what is the behavior of this kama chanda nivarana and how we can eliminate what are the steps we can follow Uh, to suppress or completely eliminate this kama chanda nivar so uh, then we have to talk about today about the vyapada nivar that is the next the second hindrance uh, about about the concentration because in order to achieve the concentration we have to eliminate we have to at least suppress for a longer period these five hindrances otherwise you cannot achieve with the hindrances with these five hindrances that is kama chanda vyapada tena middha uddacha kukkucha and vichikicha having these uh, five hindrances you cannot think about uh, the concentration because uh, the concentration is the suppressing these hindrances because they are like the obstacles they are obstructing to have or to achieve the concentrations and the uh, vipassana knowledge and the ultimately uh, the paths noble paths so that's why we have to talk about these things without having a proper understanding about the hindrances how we can uh, recognize them how we can realize them 
when they arise in our mind without having a proper understanding about them how we can uh, eliminate how we can suppress them from our mind so that is why we have to have a proper understanding a good understanding about these uh, hindrances that is why we have, we want to talk about these hindrances specifically separately one by one then we know what is this hindrance what are the uh, specific causes to arise this kind of a hindrance and what is uh, when it arises in our mind what is uh, the behavior of that specific hindrance and in, if you want to eliminate if you want to suppress it for a longer period or if you want to eliminate it completely from your mind what steps you have to follow what what are the things you can do in order to uh, eliminate or refrain from these hindrances that is why the understanding is needed that is why we have uh, like specifically uh, talked about that uh, sensual desire or the kama chanda nivarana uh, during the last sermon today within this sermon uh, i'm uh, i'm expecting to discuss about the about the next hindrance the second hindrance the vyapada nivarana or we call the ill will or the hatred so these are the topics what we are going to discuss during this sermon about the ill will or the hatred uh, the first topic is what is ill will or the what is vyapada nivarana and uh, what is the behavior of that vyapada nivarana and what are the causes to arise that vyapada nivarana in our mind sometimes we don't have that vyapada nivarana sometimes we have uh, when it arise it will not Uh, be there for uh, every time for the whole day it will not be there sometimes it arises and it vanishes automatically but we have to think about we have to realize what are the causes to arise this uh, specific vyapada nivar and the simile or a metaphor with regards to the vyapada nivar and how we should identify when it arises when it emerges in our mind and how we can suppress vyapada nivarana and what are the things we can do what are the steps we have to follow in order to uh, eradicate or suppress this vyapada hindrance how the relief from the vyapada nivarana helps to develop the concentration these are the uh, topics i am going to discuss within this sermon the first topic is what is the ill will what is the vyapada nivarana so we will go to that uh, section uh, there is a i have given a pali text from the uh, commentary actually vyapajyati uh, imina chittham puti kumma sadayo vir purima pakatin vijahati di vyapad that is uh, i am not going to detail in the pali but we can uh, refer the translation or the english meaning when this ill will emerged in our mind when we have a hatred feeling hatred condition in our mind uh, usually our mind is calm and quiet it will not have the defilements hindrances we call the bhavanga chitta usually when we are in a normal condition we don't have these hindrances when this uh, ill will hindrance or the vyapada nivarana arises or the emerge in our mind the mind will give up this natural condition or the normal condition which is calm calmness and the quietness and uh, it will give up that original state and it will become a disgusting state like a, uh, like a food which is rotten which is rotten uh, then uh, that food will have a disgusting smell it stinks it will have a bad smell and it will have a bad appearance sometimes the flies come and it will be covered with the flies because it is rotten then when a food is rotten uh, everyone will like anyone will not accept that likewise uh, this is a simile what is given when vyapad arises in our mind when there is ill will hindrance Uh, in our mind 
that is like uh, like uh, something rotted something which is rotten uh, this is the simile and uh, that is why it is uh, connected here that when you have the ill will or the hatred feeling in your mind the others the others will like reject you others will not accept you as a friend even your closest ones will not accept you if you are in that hatred condition or the ill will or if you are with the ill will hindrance if you are in anger no one will uh, try to come to your vicinity they they will try to go away from you if you are blaming them if you are using some harsh words then no one will try to be free, be uh, friendly with you that is why uh, it is uh, there is a simile which is given as a, a something disgusting which is like a food something is rotten so uh, and it will pollute your own mind first you will have that bad feeling bad condition in your mind that means you will pollute your mind first then with that hatred feeling or with that hatred condition or with that ill will hindrance you will pollute the others mind as well let's say uh, when you have anger you are like burning inside you are polluting your uh, like natural conditions natural calmness or the quietness in your mind no longer you have that calmness in your mind now your mind is polluted by the anger or the hatred then you are not be with that condition if you are not in a control position then you try to utter some bad words harsh words and uh, you try to hit someone then the others also get anger when you tell something harsh when when you tell something rough words which is not uh, suitable for the others then they will also get anger then they will have the vyapada nivaran as well but the initiator is you because you had that anger feeling that angriness or the uh, this, this ill will hindrance then first you have polluted your mind then you polluted the others mind as well that is why it is mentioned uh, you will pollute the mind of himself and the others as well who is nearby that is when you are in a angry mode then uh, the others also get angry the others the others also uh, will get polluted their minds that is what is mentioned there byapada is a synonym for the kodha or the anger so uh, even you mention as a kodha if even you mention as the byapada uh, it is same angry is the same ill will or the hatred feel that is given as the definition of this byapada then it is when it comes to a, a nivarana state we call the vyapada nivarana so you have to uh, understand the how bad this uh, vyapada because when you have kama chanda when you have sensual desire you have that uh, like eagerness or you want to uh, achieve something you want to possess something because you have some attachment uh, towards something then your mind is polluted anyway with the lobha with the attachment towards that thing it can be a covetousness as well abhijja but you are not like uh, trying to pollute the others mind because you are having that uh, uh, attachment towards that thing you have that feeling to possess that one but you are not uh, like uh, uh, giving some bad influences to the others when you have thina mitta when you have laziness when you have that uh, feeling with you usually you uh, you will act like a lazy people lazy person but you will not influence the others completely but not like them not like the other hindrances this vyapad when you have the anger you will uh, give up your natural calmness or the quietness in your mind that is the first uh disadvantage advantage for you then not only that you share this anger with the others you influence the others to have the angry feelings or to emerge the uh, ill will hindrance in the others as well this is very bad 
so we have to understand first you pollute your mind and then you influence the others or you uh, will uh, you will be a cause for the others to emerge the ill will hindrance or the angriness in the others as well so that is the definition which is given here then we are going to uh, some other definitions of the words uh, which is related to the this ill will or the hatred in english we call the feelings of hostility resentment hatred and bitterness we we can use these words uh, as a synonyms for the this byapada nivarana or the ill, ill will or the hatred byapada prevents us from seeing our personal and spiritual potential and those of the others when you have byapada when you have that angry feeling when you are uh, in the angry mood you cannot see your true potential you think uh, that is uh, when you are thinking something with angry you think it is the most suitable thing when you want to hit someone you think it is the most suitable thing i should do now then you hit that person when you want to uh, when you when you are in the angry mood sometimes you want to uh, tell some utter some uh, harsh words some uh, bad words to the others you think it is the most suitable thing i should do for this condition that is why you don't know the true potential of yours because you think uh, with the angry that is why uh, that it will cover it will cover to see our true potential and sometimes you don't see the uh, true potential of the others when you are in angry mode uh, the the people who are close by who are close to you sometimes you like to uh, you tend to restrict their some uh, potencies then because you are in the angry mode this is very bad and uh, that is the behavior that is the uh, true uh, natural behavior of the angry and the byapada deludes our us into believing that we are replete with all the best qualities we desire because you have that potency or you have that potential you are uh, your spiritual potential is higher if you uh, like uh, if you try to achieve them in a very wise way in a very uh, with uh, very good encouragement then you can achieve them but when you have that angry feeling you think you are a loser sometimes you will do bad things because you have that feeling because you think others are better than me then others are doing well than me then you will get that uh, that angry feeling because you feel that you are as a loser that is why you cannot focus on your true potential if you don't have the angry you can think about you in very wise way we call the yoniso manasikar so if you can see your true potential then you can like uh, do something in a very good way in a, with a very good encouragement in a very effortful way so otherwise if you are in angry mode you cannot recognize you cannot realize your own true potential or you cannot see the potential of the others then you try to do something bad because of that feeling an angry person thinks he is right or he is unable to rise above himself that is what i have uh, described so when someone is having the anger uh, when he is angry with someone or something then he will not realize uh, the uh, the true potential about him then he he thinks i cannot rise from this condition that is why he thinks whatever he does he thinks it is the most suitable thing that is the right thing i should do now but he is doing bad deeds always when you are angry you are taking the bad decisions you are doing some bad uh, actions by your body you are uttering some bad or harsh words which is not suitable then uh, when you uh, when you like uh, eliminate or when you suppress the ang- angry then uh, you will think why i have done this, those kind of things sometimes you regret about the things what you have done by your uh, body what you have 
uh, uttered by your speech then you regret but at the at that at the same uh, position at that same condition when you when you were with the angry or the anger you think it was the most suitable thing but afterwards then when you uh, like refrain from the anger then you think okay i have done something wrong i should not have done that thing i should not have uttered those words it 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 was bad but i have done then that thing because of my anger but now it's too late you have done that that is why the person thinks he is right always when he is in the anger mode when he is with the anger when he is angry he thinks always that he is doing the right thing and the others are doing the wrong things that's why he the angry will get more powerful then we uh, uh, this is uh, some uh, facts how this ill will arise emerge in our mind how a person thinks how this angry comes to a uh, someone's mind these are when someone is thinks this vexatious uh, this vexatious byapad arises all the thought so when someone is think uh, the second person or the another person Uh, he did something bad to me he did something wrong to me so then he get the hatred feeling he get the angry then when he is thinking oh still he is doing something bad to me still he is doing something wrong to me so then if someone is think like that then uh, that person will get angry towards that second person and someone is thinking he has not something bad or he is not doing something bad but he suspect he thinks he expect that person will do something bad or he is going to do something bad to me then he will get angry towards that second person and uh, in the same way when someone is think uh, someone is trying to or someone has done something wrong uh, to the loved ones to the friends who are, uh, who are liked by that person then he will get angry because he know that that the second person did something wrong to my loved ones to my friends to my relatives to my children or wife parents so likewise he thinks he did something wrong to my loved ones so he get the angry he get that ill will or the hatred Uh, feeling then likewise when someone is still doing someone is doing something wrong to the loved ones or the relatives then he also get the angry feel and someone uh, is thinking uh, that person has not the second person has not done anything to the anything bad to the loved one and he is not uh, doing something bad but he suspect he expect or he uh, realized something is going to happen that person is trying to do something bad for my relatives or the friends or the loved ones then he will get the bad or the angry feeling towards that second person likewise uh, then some when someone is doing something good for the enemies which who are disliked by me when someone is thinking like in that way then that person will get angry feeling towards that uh, second person because he is helping my enemies they are my enemies they are doing bad to me this person is helping them this person is uh, doing some favors for them then uh, that person will get angry because he is helping my enemies he is getting the hatred feeling uh, next one is when someone is doing something good to the enemies or uh, the person who is disliked by that person uh, then this person will get angry towards the second person then he suspect he is going to do something good he will do something uh, better he will s- do something good for the enemies then he will get the angry feeling or the this ill will hindrance will emerge in his mind these are related to the people or the other person the tenth one is vexation arises without any ground like when you hit your foot uh, 
uh, in a stone or a table or something, you get angry with that chair. There is no person. But you get angry feeling uh, with that chair and you will try to break them, you will hit back to that chair. When there is rain, when you want to go some uh, like a trip or somewhere, uh, very sometimes sometimes it's a official uh, journey, which is very important. The rain comes, then you will get angry towards that rain. There is no person, but you will get that angry feeling or the hatred mind towards that rain. There is no any ground because to have that uh, angry uh, earlier. He was uh, get that angry feeling or the hatred mind towards that any towards a second person because he is doing something bad or he is doing something bad to me he is doing something uh, bad to my loved ones or he is doing something good to the enemies but here there is no any person the rain the raining is a natural thing if you are not conscious enough you will uh, have those kind of accidents you will hit your foot with the chair or table or a stone. There is no any ground to uh, emerge that ill will or the hatred mind within yourself towards that stone or the chair or towards the rain. That is we call the vexation arises without any ground. We call the uh, attana. That is uh, there is no ground. There is no actual reason but you are making your mind hatred. That is not, uh, that is the very bad condition, very bad reason to arise, to emerge the uh, hatred or the angry within yourself. These are the 10 uh, causes, these are the trend, uh, like situations when someone will have that hatred feeling or the hatred mind or this ill will hindrances, hindrance. So, uh, these are the 10 situations someone can. Uh, like deal or someone will uh, be a suitable person to uh, be with the hatred mind but we have to eliminate because even though they, he has done something wrong to me even he has done something uh, wrong to my loved ones even he has done something uh, he, he had done something good to my enemies or something uh, without any ground we should not allow the anger to uh, enter to our mind, uh, we should not allow this ill will hindrance to emerge in our mind. So then we are going to talk about, uh, these are the some uh, like words given in the Pali about this Vyapada, uh, like yo evarupo chitta, chittas, aghato, patighato, patighang, pativirodho, Kopo, Pakopo, Sankopo, Doso, Padoso. These are the several words which is uh, we, which we can use as synonyms for the Vyapada. Uh, that is given. Uh, ayang, the last Idang Uchati Vyapada Nivarana. These all the word, words representing the Vyapada Nivarana, the ill will hindrance or the hatred mind. So you can use, they have different meanings, but uh, all these words are representing the, uh, the same Vyapada Nivarana. These all conditions will arise in our mind uh, with these 10 situations. When someone is dealing with these situations unwisely, without uh, the wisdom, we call the Ayoniso Manisikara. Because these are natural things. This will happen. We have to experience these things. We have to face these things. But uh, we should not allow the anger to be arise, to be arisen within our mind because of this situation. So, uh, because of this situation, because of these 10 uh, situations, someone will have these kind of aghat, patighat, uh, and patigha, pativirod, kopa. This is called the Vyapada Nivarana. So you can use any, any of these synonyms uh, for the, to represent the Vyapada Nivarana. Then we are going to talk about something about uh, this is by way of the mind's vexation. These are the, these are the uh, English names for these uh, Pali words. The vexation, resentment, aversion, ag uh, aggression, ire, 
wrath, uh, fuming, hate. These, these words are given, uh, like we have uh, called about, we have uh, discussed the agatha, patigatha, kopa, uh, patibirodha, uh, patigha. Uh, so these words are the uh, translated words uh, in the English for, the, for those Pali words, which is given uh, as the synonyms for the Vyapada Nivarana. Then the second topic. We are, go, we are going to talk about the uh, behavior. When this Vyapada Nivarana emerges within our mind, when it arises, how we can feel them, how we can understand them, how, what is the behavior within our mind, what this Vyapada will do to our mind, what, what, how we are going to uh, do, how we are going to act when we are with the Vyapada Nivarana. So, Vyapada Nivarana is feeling of hostility, resentment, hatred and bitterness. That is the basic definition uh, we can identify this Vyapada Nivarana. This hindrance is activated when our senses come into contact with the sense objects which, is, which we don't like. We uh, have uh, discussed about the Kama Chanda Nivarana, sensual desires. Same definition, a little bit different. That is, when we uh, come to contact with uh, our senses or the uh, faculties with the external objects which we like. When we like, uh, when we uh, like, we, when we have uh, attachment, so when we have those kind of feelings, liking, then we have this sensual desire. That sensual desire or the attachment will arise within your mind because you like these objects. Here, the opposite way. When you like deal with these external objects like the uh, rupas or the um, uh, visual objects or the audible objects, some smells, some uh, like uh, tastes, some tangible objects, some uh, feelings. When uh, these objects come to our mind through these sense faculties, but you don't like them, then not the sensual desire, but the ill will emerge, arises within your mind because you don't like these objects. That is the reason, that is the, uh, the main cause uh, to emerge these ill will hindrance within your mind. Every time we point our concentration at our practice, this hindrance may pop up and distract us. Because sometimes when you try to develop the tranquility, try to develop the concentration, this hindrance, the other hindrances as well, but we are talking about the Vyapada Nivarana. This Vyapada Hindrance or the Vyapada Nivarana will pop up and will come to the emerging state and it will like to suppress our concentration. It will uh, try to uh, like distract us. It will try to obstruct us to have the higher levels of the concentration. Because sometimes it will naturally come to our mind some, uh, some uh, like memories which you don't like. Something has happened in the past uh, which you don't like. When you realize, when you uh, remind that uh, specific situation or some, someone has done something wrong to you, when you uh, like recall those memories, then the patiga or this Vyapada uh, Nivarana come to your mind and it will obstruct the meditative process or it will uh, like distract you uh, to like to, to be with that same uh, object to develop the tranquility. That is the nature, that is the behavior of this Vyapada Nivarna. Uh, that is why we have to uh, suppress, that is why we try to eliminate this uh, Nivarna in order to achieve the concentration levels or in order to achieve the higher insight knowledges. How Buddha admonished to get rid of this ill will? Uh, the Pali uh, sentence is there, so we can go to the, uh, the translation or the meaning of that Pali sentence, abandoning ill will and anger. He dwells with a mind free of ill will, uh, sympathetic towards the welfare of the other all living beings. He cleanses his mind of ill will and anger. This is what is the admonishment given by the Buddha. 
so someone should try to eradicate try to suppress this vyapada and try to dwell try to dwell without this vyapada and with the pure mind that is without the uh, this angry feeling or the ill will or the hatred hindrance and he should uh, like uh, he should spread the metta or the uh, the sympathetic towards the other living beings without any limitation even he is a friend even he is a enemy he was in the uh, like the new neutral state we should spread that metta that feeling of the welfare feeling of the sympathetic towards that person uh, not only eliminate the vyapada but you have to develop you have to like spread that metta towards the others as well then he cleanses his mind of ill will and anger if someone is trying to eliminate or suppress this ill will uh, from his mind he tries to refrain from the ill will hindran and also at the same moment at the same time he tries to develop he tries to spread that loving kindness towards the others that person uh, with the time with the developments he will uh, like suppress this he will have that capability to dwell to live to uh, act without that anger or the ill will hindrance that is what is the uh, admonishment given by the buddha ill will can arise either internally or the externally towards the others the first one is internally sometimes when you have some sicknesses when you have something uh, like lazinesses uh, when you have some some uh, like disqualities within you sometimes when you recall about these things when you like contemplate about this you will have anger towards yourself when you are not skillful enough for some specific task if you try to uh, study but it is very difficult for you when you try to develop the concentration but it is very difficult for you uh, and something some bad uh, like disorders in your uh, body Uh, sometimes digesting maybe or something you have uh, some uh, diseases or the sicknesses you have then you have those hatred feeling towards you that is the uh, the ill will which arises within yourself towards yourself and the the second part is the external uh, towards the external persons or the objects that is you are like the your mind will be thinking about the external bad things sometimes it may be person or uh, who has done something wrong to you uh, and who is doing something wrong to you who is done uh, doing something bad to your loved ones or who is something going to do something bad to you or your loved ones and something who is helping your enemies uh, in any case you will get that angry feeling towards the others that is the external part so uh you are getting anger you the the ill will hindrance will arise within your mind towards the others towards the external parties sometimes it can be a uh, external object like when you want to go somewhere but the rain comes the heavy rain comes then you will get the bad or the hatred feeling towards the rain when you hit uh, you are uh, like finger to somewhere with somewhere uh, then you will get the uh, pain and you will get the Uh, that hatred feeling towards that uh, external object or oh, it can be object or a person but you are getting you that ill will hindrance will emerge yourself uh, towards the external thing sometimes this has this uh, ill will has uh, some categories something is very obvious that is we call the olarika very rough you can identify when you get angry feeling towards you towards someone uh, or towards you uh, then you can identify oh i am with the angry because that anger comes to me i am with the ill will or the hatred mind that is very obvious even for you even the others can identify oh that person is with the angry feeling or oh, he is uh, he is doing something wrong he can do something wrong because of that angry mind so it is very obvious you can clearly identify your anger but sometimes it is coming in a very like uh, you cannot even identify that angry feeling but still it is uh, uh, ill will hindrance 
what is that sometimes let's take a person tries to uh, go to a place a very calm and quiet place and he tries to develop the concentration but he is not able to develop the concentration he will have that like the, he is frightened he has that uh, he, uh, he he will be scared with some voices which is which is in the jungle because he is in a very calm and quiet place no one is uh, no one is there close by no one is in the vicinity to help them because it's a separate place and he tries to develop the concentration but with the voices and then some uh, uh, scary feelings uh, will arise and he will be frightened from the loneliness these are still the ill will hindrance but we cannot identify someone will not think this is the hin ill will hindrance which will obstruct which will uh, like uh, uh, distract you from the concentration but still it is ill will hindrance but it is very what you call the sukuma it is very like uh, difficult to identify as the that the previous angry the angry is you can uh, obvious it is you can clearly identify this is angry this is the ill will hindrance if i'm with this angriness uh, i cannot develop the concentration then you can suppress or you can refrain from that angry feeling but this the scary feeling sometimes you will feel loneliness sometimes when you try to develop the concentration but you cannot you are not able to develop into higher levels then you get something bad feelings towards your teacher something you are get some bad feelings or the angry feelings towards the practice or the place or the other friends uh, which is who is nearby this is also he will hindrance this is a byapada nivarana but you will not think like that you you will think uh, it is a usual uh, feeling it will not distract me it will not obstruct me to develop the concentration but still it is a same byapada nivarana uh, within your mind and it will definitely obstruct your uh, concentration you will you will be distracted from the concentration you have to identify whether it is very obvious whether it is not very obvious it is very difficult to find as a ill will hindrance still they will obstruct the concentration anyway you have to eliminate or suppress any kind of uh, ill will hindrance in order to achieve the higher levels of the concentration that is why we have to learn about them sometimes sometime someone will consider that angry is the only ill will hindrance which will obstruct the concentration no not not only that uh, angry is a obvious thing but there are some other things as well sometimes he will have the loneliness some sometimes he is ha- he is having some scary feelings sometimes he is having some bad feelings to the towards the teachers towards the friends towards the practice and towards the places when someone is trying to develop the concentration he is not get uh, he is not getting a uh, very good food or he is having some sicknesses still he is uh, he will get upset about the food because he is expecting something good but the usually he is getting very bad not not very good uh, food then he is getting some uh, like upset feelings or the angry feelings towards the Uh, not the like, obvious angry but he is not like he is disliking this food or he uh, he get upset with the own sicknesses these are also ill will hindrance which will obstruct your uh, concentration or the spiritual path spiritual practice you have to identify that's why we are uh, discussing we are like uh, emphasizing about this have uh, ill will hindrance then you have to identify whatever the condition of this ill will hindrance it is still a hindrance it will cover your uh, future results in this spiritual practice then anyway whether it is a obvious one like angry whether it is not obvious one whether it is very difficult to identify as a hindrance it can be a scary feeling it can be a loneliness it can be a dislike in towards the teachers or the friends or the practice or the food or the weather or the uh, like the sicknesses of your own sicknesses uh, then still these all conditions are the levels 
different levels of the ill will hindrance or the vyapada nivaran you have to identify them and you have to try to suppress all all of the categories all of the levels of this vyapada nivaran then we are going to talk about the third topic what are the causes what are the causes to arise this vyapada the pali sentence is there when we go to the meaning but when we go to the translation there are objects causing aversion atti bikkave patiga nimitta uh my dear disciples there is a uh, object called the patiga nimitta what is this patiga nimitta there are objects causing aversion patiga nimitta frequently giving unwise attention you are contemplating about this patiga nimitta which is the cause for the aversion or the angriness this patiga about this patiga nimitta you are contemplating you are thinking about that Uh, you are giving the attention to that patiga nimitta without the wisdom you are attending you are contemplating about that uh, cause for the aversion we call the patiga nimitta without the wisdom then you are contemplating again and again then this is the nourishment or this is the main cause main reason for the arising of ill will that has not arisen that has not arisen and this is the nourishment for the increase when you have that small level like a very low level of uh, angry feeling or the ill will hindrance this if you are atten- if you are giving uh, attention if you are contemplating about this fatiga nimitta unwisely that lower level condition of the vyapada uh, nivarana it will increase and strengthening of ill will that has already arisen now you are with the ill will hindrance but you are doing something wrong what is the wrong thing you are giving the attention unwisely to that patiga nimitta you are contemplating about that patiga nimitta which is the cause for the aversion unwisely then the new new uh, vyapada will arise in your mind and the existing existing vyapada will come to a very powerful stage it will develops then sometimes you cannot control of that sometimes you will tend to do something bad by your body or by your word or uh, you try to do something a uh, bad feelings towards the other person this is the cause the main cause to increase the increase and strengthening the come to a very powerful stage of that vyapada uh, nivarana what is this cause for the aversion the objects causing aversion we call the patiga nimitta patiga nimitta means the anitta nimitta that is uh, object we don't like object we dislike that is the patiga nimitta in the commentary it is clearly mentioned what is this patiga nimitta it is the anitta nimitta which we don't like something uh, let's say a person which we dislike we don't like to think about that person but again and again you are thinking about that person in the bad way without having the wisdom unwisely you are attending to contemplate about that person or your enemy or the disliking person uh, without the wisdom then that uh, new vyapada will tend to uh, emerge within your mind then how you should contemplate about that person every person have bad qualities and the good qualities if you are doing this contemplating wisely you should not think about the bad qualities of that person you should think about the good qualities of that person wisely that is called the uh, wisely paying the attention or you are contemplating wisely with the wisdom uh, uh, towards that person or uh, about that person then the new uh, angry feelings towards that person will not emerge within your mind in the other way someone is trying to think about the bad qualities of that particular person then uh, that person if he is doing this bad thing again and again he, if he is paying attention to the to the bad qualities of that second person then new vyapada new ill will or the hatred feelings will 
emerge within your mind and uh, if he is having some bad feelings toward that person then they will come to a very strong a powerful state and they will develop they will come to a very uh, they will uh, come to a very strong position you cannot control that is the unwise attention towards that person this is a reason this is a main reason for emerging of the vyapada uh, or the vyapada uh, nivarana so uh, we have let's take another example if you have a bad memory if you have a, a bad experience when you think about that bad experience uh, when you are contemplating when you are uh, recalling that bad or the uh, bad experience then you will have the new uh, like vyapada nivarana or the hatred feeling towards that memory if someone has done something wrong if something bad has happened you uh, couldn't do something you couldn't achieve something you wanted or uh, you had some bad uh, experiences with some other people so then when you recall that thing that is a cause for the aversion we call the patika nimitta it is not a good feeling for you then if someone is contemplating about without the wisdom about that bad memory then this can be a, this will be a cause to emerge new vyapada nivarana or the ill will hindrance you will get some upset feelings you will get some bad feelings towards that you will get some hatred mind towards that bad or the bad experience or the bad memory this is you should not do because if you want to suppress or if you are uh, uh, trying to uh, eliminate this vyapada nivarana this is the main or the very powerful cause to emerge uh, for the vyapada nivarana then another description is there the hindrance blinker and screw up our mind so that we unwisely attend we call the ayoniso manasi karoti you are attending unwisely or we are contemplating uh, without the wisdom then to our sense experiences unwise attention is based on ignorance ignorance is the avijja as the root condition for suffering which is a lack of understanding the reality uh, when you talk about the previous examples we have taken when you think about your uh, enemy or a person you dislike when you are thinking about the bad qualities only about him that is because of the avijja because you are thinking there is a person there is a bad qualities in that person so he has done done something wrong to me oh he is going to do something wrong to me the in this ways you are thinking because of the avijja ignorance that is the actual root cause to this ayoniso manasikara because uh, you are paying attention unwisely towards that patika nimitta which is the cause for the aversion because of the root cause or the root condition which is which is the avijja avijja is the main or the root condition or the root cause to emerge this vyapada nivarana that is why avijja is a cause into all the hindrances to emerge this is the root cause because of this avijja the vyapada is arising but avijja can be suppressed by the wisdom when there is no wisdom the avijja come to the play when you have when you are using when you are paying the attention with the wisdom then there is no chance for the avijja because when you have the wisdom like you have light up something the darkness will be vanished likewise when you are using when you are allowing the wisdom to play when we when you are allowing wisdom to come and do something acts in your mind then the avijja will be vanished it can be temporarily but at that moment the avijja will not be there it can be a uh, like it can avijja can be as a uh, latent tendency but the thing is that avijja come to the pariyuttana the emerging state but when you are allowing wisdom when you are giving the permission when you are like developing the wisdom when you are doing something then the avijja will not be a root cause to have the the vyapada nivarana then you are not paying the attention to the bad qualities of that person 
with the wisdom you trying to focus about the good qualities of that person about the second example when we talk about the bad experience or the bad memory you had in the past when you have that wisdom you contemplate about that bad experience or the bad memory with the wisdom and you will not have that bad feeling or the angry feelings or the upset uh, towards that uh, previous or the past experience which is bad which you dislike because you are not allowing avijja come to play and you are you are just allowing the wisdom you are paying attention wisely you are contemplating about that memory wisely that is we calls yoniso manasikara o oh, yoniso manasikaroti you are paying attention wisely then you can suppress you are not allowing avyapada uh, nivarana to arise within your mind that is the thing which is uh, discussed or the emphasized here this hindrance is a defilement the vyapada nivarana is a defilement that limits our vision it limits our vision you cannot see the reality you cannot see the real conditions outside because of this vyapada nivarana when you are in a angry state angry mode when you are with the angry when you have that lonely feeling when you are frightened from something when you have them scary feelings or when you are uh, like dealing with dislike person or dislike things you cannot understand the reality outside you cannot uh, because you are your vision is covered by this hindrance it distracts us from focusing our minds into clear stillness because we are developing the tranquility to develop the uh, concentration in your mind but time to time Uh, if this vyapada nivarana is emerging within our mind it will distract us because time to time if, uh, when you are getting some angry feelings when you have hatred minds time to time then it will be a uh, uh, obstruct and it will distract it will deviate your uh, spiritual path because you are trying to develop the stillness in your mind you are trying to develop the concentration or the tranquility within your mind but angry feeling comes to your mind it will distract you angry feeling is obstructing to have the levels of the concentration that is given here uh, this hindrance prevent our minds from directly knowing the uh, the true nature of our being it is the reality or the real condition outside you cannot identify because of this vyapada nivaran and when you uh, because when you try to do the vipassana when you try to realize what is inside us what is the true nature of us what are the things uh, inside my body what are the things inside my mind then even these things he cannot realize because he is in a bad condition he is with the anger this vyapada nivarana covers everything you cannot develop the concentration because of the vyapada nivarana you cannot develop the uh, inside knowledge or vipassana meditation because of vyapada nivarana it is uh, a very bad obstruction for the tranquility as well as for the insight medita- meditation as a result of distractions we find fault with our practice sometimes you get angry feelings about towards the practice because you are trying to do something uh, effortfully but you are not getting the results so you get upset with that uh, experience because you are not getting results then you are like you uh, your path will be distracted because you get upset with the practice because of the less results or the non results or teacher when someone is teaching you how to do the meditation how to do the how to develop the tranquilities or how to uh, uh, and he will be a teacher to uh, teach some dumb facts but when you have that angry feeling within your mind sometimes you will get angry towards the teachers as well and the, even the uh, with the other colleagues as well who are learning dhamma with you who are practicing the spiritual path with you you are getting angry with them also and even becoming upset with others making a noise sometimes when something is 
happen outside when someone is talking somewhat uh, with a higher volume then you will get upset you will get angry and uh, blame him uh, this is because of the vyapada nivarana so uh, sometimes he uh, thinks uh, he should blame that person because he is uh, like obstructing he is bothering me because it should not be done because it is done by the vyapada nivarana because you got upset because of that uh, higher volume or the noise uh, which is made by someone else uh, someone colleague or someone closest uh, relative by you uh, of you then it is uh, made by him but you get the angry feeling towards that noise and you uh, did something bad you did something wrong to that person you might have uh, hit that person you might have blamed that person or he you might have uh, given some uttered some bad words harsh words towards that person all these things were happened because of the vyapada nivarana so this is uh, with this vyapada nivarana you cannot expect to develop your concentration uh, to a higher level and you cannot do the vipassana meditation as well then we go to the simile with regards to the vyapad uh, or the metaphor uh, this is the pali sentence or the pali extraction which is from the um, commentary and we will go to explain the this simile or the metaphor in english with the translation the metaphor is if a man suffering from a bile disorder bile disorder means we call in a pali pitta pitta means uh, there is a organ called the pittas uh, uh, then we have the bile disorder bile is that uh, very essential uh, thing for the digestive process that is a very essential thing but when you have that disorder in that organ particular organ that bile is uh, like uh, uh, too much when you have bile disorder you cannot feel that real taste of the food always you feel that bitter feeling whatever the even it is ice cream or sweets or anything sugar or anything when you take into your mouth you will feel it as a bitter thing even though uh, it is sweet that is a bile disorder if a man is suffering uh, from a bile disorder were to receive even honey and sugar he will not enjoy its taste because of his bile disorder he cannot feel that the pleasant feeling of, of that sugar or honey or some sweet he would simply vomit it he doesn't like to have that sugar sweet or honey because he is having that bitter feeling he vomit it and complaining it's bitter it's bitter likewise uh, because of that bile disorder but it is the disorder of himself not the bad condition of the food food is very tasty the sugar honey or the uh, some sweets some very tasty foods that is the not a problem with the food food is very good the uh, the person who is not having the bile disorder will enjoy that food very well he will get the real tasty feeling from that food but the person who is having that bile disorder cannot enjoy that food because always he is getting that bitter feeling from any of the food any whatever the thing he put in his mouth he will get the bitter feeling he cannot enjoy he cannot even eat drink them this is the bile disorder this is a metaphor in the same way then how we connect this bile disorder person to the vyapada nivarana in the same way when one with an angry mind when some mean someone is having that vyapada uh, nivarana or the angry feeling hatred mind uh, the, he is admonished even slightly by his teacher the teachers are giving admonishments advices how to do these things how to learn these things how to develop the meditation how to behave as a good monk or a novice or a person then he is getting some advices from the teacher but uh, or the preceptor for his benefit these are given by the teachers for his own benefit if he 
follow these advices or the admonishment in a true way, in the correct way, he will be beneficial. He will get more benefits and he will be, uh, be an improved or the developed person in this uh, spiritual path. But the, the wrong thing is he is having a disease. What is the disease? He does not accept these uh, advices from the teachers or the preceptors. He is not advising. He is not accepting these advices. Why? He is with the angry mind, hatred mind, with the Vyapada or the ill will nivarana, ill will hindrance. So even though he is getting so many advices uh, which are very valuable for his uh, development, for his own benefit, but he will not accept. Why? He is having a disease. What is the disease? Angry or the hatred mind. Saying words like, you are harassing me too much. You are disturbing me. I don't like your advices. I don't want your advices. Because he is having that angry towards the teacher. So he is like, like he is giving up. He is rejecting these advices which are very valuable for his own development, improvements, benefits. He would leave the order. He would go away and wander about. This is the nature of the angry person. When a, uh, when a person is having good, valuable, important uh, advices or the admonishment from the teachers, from the preceptor, but because of the Vyapa, the Nivarana, because he is angry because of any reason, he, but he is with the angry, Vyapa, the Nivarana. He is not in the calm way, in, in, in his normal way. When he is in this angry mode, even though he gets uh, something very like pleasant, very uh, pleasant thing, valuable things from the teachers, from the elders, he is not accepting because of the disease of this angriness, because of the disease of this hindrance or the Vyapada Nivarna. Likewise, the, when we connect, when we think about the metaphor, just as the person with the bile order, bile disorder, does not enjoy the taste of honey and sugar or the seed or whatever the pleasant food, he couldn't enjoy that food because of the bile disorder disease. That is a sickness. Sickness is not related with the food. Food is very okay. It is very pleasant. It is, has a, a very pleasant taste. Even anyone can enjoy that pleasant feeling who is not sick but this person has some disorder that thing or the defect is with himself what is the defect the bile disorder because of that he cannot enjoy those pleasant foods likewise even so one who has the disease of anger we can uh, like equal as the uh, disease or the sickness when someone is having that angry disease or the disease of sickness of anger, will not enjoy the taste of the Buddha's teaching consisting in the joy of meditative jhanas. In this way, ill will is like the illness or the sickness. Ill will like a bile disorder because the, there is nothing, there is no any problem with the food. Food is okay. Anyone can enjoy that food who knows the valuable of or pleasant feeling of that food. But he is having a disease, he cannot enjoy that food. The problem is with himself because he is having the disorder. If he like if he do some treatments and he will cure that bile disorder, then his defect is finished. His sickness is not there anymore. He can enjoy that pleasant food as he wants in his natural way. Likewise, when that person is having the bile disorder, if someone having the uh, sickness of the anger, he cannot uh, enjoy the Buddha's teaching. Buddha's teaching is very valuable. There is nothing wrong in this Buddha's teaching. If someone is knowledgeable, if someone is effortful, if someone is wise, then they can get the true benefits of this Buddha's teaching. 
but someone is in the angry mode someone is with the vyapada nivarana they cannot that he cannot enjoy the buddha's teaching because he is a sick person what is the sickness the sickness of the anger because of the sickness of the anger he cannot enjoy he cannot get he cannot achieve the uh, results achievements of the buddha's teaching that is like a sickness if someone suppress this vyapada nivaran or completely eradicate eliminate this vyapada nivaran then he is a recovered person he doesn't have the sickness of anger anymore now he can enjoy the buddha's teaching in the wise way in the effortful way and he will enjoy the results of this spiritual path that is the metaphor which is given for the vyapada nivarana as time passes he recovers from the sickness this is the bile odor disorder uh, bile uh, disorder so he uh, recovers from the sickness the bile disorder he now he can enjoy he enjoys his meals and there is strength in his body he can enjoy the food he can take much food and develop the strength or the uh, of his uh, body the thought would occur to him before i was sick i was having the bile disorder now i have recovered from that sickness now i have uh, cured that bile disorder disease i enjoy my meals and there is strength in my body because of he would experience joy and happiness likewise when someone suppress or eliminate this vyapada nivarana he will think earlier i was suffering from the vyapada nivarana like a disease within me i was having that sickness of anger i couldn't enjoy the buddha's teaching i couldn't enjoy the concentration feelings i couldn't enjoy the insight knowledges i couldn't enjoy the buddha's admonishments so i was suffering from the anger i was suffering from the vyapada nivarana now i have uh, suppressed it i have eliminated it so now i can enjoy the buddha's teaching i can develop the concentration um i can enjoy the 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 feeling of that concentration i can develop the feeling of that inside knowledge as i can i can enjoy the buddha's admonishment now he is uh, he is having the joy and the happiness he will be a stronger person in this spiritual path that is a metaphor which is given when he is having the vyapada nivarana it is like a person with the bile disorder when he suppress or the eliminate uh, this vyapada uh, nivarana is a person like who recovered from the bile disorder then we are going to the fifth one how we should identify vyapada uh, this is what is given in the maha satipatthana sutta so i am uh, given the pali text and the the meanings how we could we should identify this vyapada nivarana when it emerged within ourselves uh, there are few steps when there is ill will in him he understand there is ill will in me when you are with the ill will when you are with the vyapada nivarana when you are with the angry you have to identify you have to realize that i am with the angry i am with the vyapada nivarana that is why we learn these things when you know the behavior of the vyapada nivarana then when you are experience the behavior of the vyapada nivarana then you realize oh i am with the vyapada nivarana the vyapada nivarana emerged within myself so i am with the vyapada nivarana it is in my mind when there is no ill will in him he understand there is no ill will in me he now he knows about the behavior of the vyapada nivarana now he can realize he can identify when what whenever the vyapada nivarana comes to the mind he can identify now he identifies there is no that kind of a behavior in my mind that means there's no vyapada nivarana in my mind so he will have the joy and happiness but in order to do that he has to identify whether he is with the vyapada nivarana or not that is the first stage then he understands the arising of the unarisen unrisen ill will earlier 
he didn't have the vyapada nivarana or the ill will or the hatred mind now because of any reason because of any cause then uh, the new vyapada nivarana emerged in the mind then he identifies he realizes earlier i was not with the vyapada nivarana but now newly the vyapada nivarana emerged within myself in my mind now he knows he identifies the uh, new vyapada nivarana arised or the arose in my mind uh, it emerged in my mind then he understand the uh, the letting go of arisen ill will when the vyapada nivarana emerged in the mind then he focusing he realizing the mind, this vyapada nivarana and with the time it will decay and it will vanishes at that moment he will resign he will uh, uh, realize okay now in my mind there is there is no behavior of the vyapada nivarana i cannot identify there is no there is any vyapada nivarana in my mind then he real, realize it has gone away it vanished there is no ill will anymore in my mind that is the next step he understand the further non arising of the ill will that he has given up when the vyapada nivarana is suppressed or the eliminated completely and it will not come up it will not emerge in future then he will realize the vyapada nivarana nivarana will not emerge in my mind uh, in future that is that that is done by the noble paths but after after achieving the noble path uh, by the pachavekkana jnana he realizes i have uh, eliminated this vyapada nivarana and at the same time i will not have this vyapada nivarana any more in the future i have completely eradicated with the latent tendencies of this vyapada nivarana that is the last uh, stage or the step how you have to realize how you have to identify the vyapada nivarana or the hatred mind or the ill will hindrance the hindrances exist in everyone this is a normal or the natural behavior their presence is not a personal failing if you are experiencing vyapada nivarana you should not think it's a failure it's a natural or normal thing uh, unless you have not eliminated the latent tendencies because the patiganu say latent tendencies is there then you are with the potential you are have, you are with the ability to have the uh, emerging new vyapada nivaranas in your mind it is not a failure with the objects you are dealing with with the objects you are dealing with and uh, based on the attention with the wisdom or the not not with the wisdom then they will decide the emerging state of the vyapada nivarana but it's natural it's normal time to time it will emerge and it vanishes but you should not think about uh, failure if you think about in that way sometimes vyapada nivarana will arise then it will grow up it will uh, come to a powerful stage because of the why unwise attention so you should not think about this as a failure it is useful see their occurrences as an important opportunity to investigate them when you have so we have uh, discussed now how you should realize when you have the uh, vyapada nivarana or when you suppressed eliminated these vyapada nivarana how you should uh, like get to know about these things how you should realize how you should deal with this, this vyapada nivarana so likewise this is a chance to actually uh, realize or observe the behavior of the vyapada nivarana so this is a chance opportunity to observe the vyapada nivarana's behavior so you should not think about this as a failure but you should think this as a opportunity to observe the true nature true behavior of the vyapada nivarana how the angry works 
in my mind when the angry comes to the emerging state sometimes if you are not paying the attention to this vyapada uh, nivarana it will take you to do something bad by your action by your body or by your speech or by your mind as well so if you are paying wise attention to this behavior of the angry or this vyapada nivarana it cannot grow let's take uh, enemy is coming to uh, a, a group of people uh, like having some uh, he can the, uh, the these people cannot identify because he is having some uh, separate different clothes or he is having some other uh, things uh, not to identify as a enemy the people the group of people cannot identify this person as a enemy because they didn't understand they didn't identify this as a enemy that enemy can be with that group of people and do something bad to the group if there if those group of people realize this identify this as enemy then that enemy cannot be there anymore he will run away he will not try to do something bad uh, be with the group of people likewise this vyapada nivarana is like an enemy he is doing bad things to our mind and he will take us to do something bad from our body from our uh, word or the speech or the mind when you have that wise attention towards the mind to identify this vyapada nivarana when it is emerged then you know how it behaves in your mind you it is a opportunity to be to uh, identify or observe the behavior of the vyapada nivarana then you realize the behavior true nature of that one and the vyapada nivarana cannot do harmful things in your mind and it will decay with the time and it vanishes that is a chance to uh, like just realizing or just identifying is a very good state because if you are with the vyapada nivarana you should identify that you should realize that i am with the vyapada nivarana then the vyapada nivarana cannot develop cannot grow within your mind if you are not paying attention to that vyapada nivarana it will with the time it will grow and it will do many harmful things to your mind sometimes you will you will tend to do some dasa akusala the unwholesome deeds by your body speech or the mind but if you are paying a uh, wise attention to the vyapada nivarana that vyapada nivarana you can observe the behavior and as well uh, you can yeah you can uh, make it decay make it vanished from your mind be like a, a, when you uh, realize when you identify a enemy in your vicinity the enemy will go away because he, uh, the enemy will not uh, be there because he uh, get to know that he was realized by you likewise vyapada nivarana will come to uh, like very weak condition and with the time it will decay when you are paying wise attention to the vyapada nivarana okay i am with the vyapada nivarana vyapada nivarana in my mind so i am with the uh, this hindrance or the hatred mind then it will decay and it will vanishes sometimes it is wise not to attempt too quickly get rid of a hindrance but to use it as a chance to learn something the stronger the hindrance the more important it is to investigate it uh, in the satipattana sutta it is saying the pajanati this is uh, we have discussed uh, he will realize he understands in satipattana sutta in the nivarana pabb when you have vyapada nivarana uh, here it is not advised to do anything quickly but you have to identify you have to pay your wise attention towards that vyapada nivarana you have to realize i am with the vyapada nivarana or oh, i am not with the vyapada nivarana a new vyapada nivarana arises and my existing vyapada nivarana vanishes so likewise you have to pay the attention you are just aware about the nivarana so that is the thing we are uh, this satipattana sutta giving the admonishment you should not do something quickly you should not to be upset with that vyapada nivarana 
you should not do something like uh, you are get more angry feelings when you are get upset about the vyapada nivar then you are inviting the other hindrances to emerge within your mind if you are get upset sometimes you will uh, get upset about the practice you will get some bad feelings about the teachers colleagues your uh, the weather the conditions the foods you are getting these things because you are paying unwise attention to the uh, this vyapada uh, nivar vyapada nivarana rising of the vyapada nivarana is a normal thing it will automatically happen uh, with the external conditions but when you have that vyapada nivarana you have to pay attention wisely and it is the thing buddha admonished in this maha satipattana sutta to do when someone is having the vyapada nivarana that is the only thing uh, only thing what we have to do when you are with the vyapada nivarana when you have the angry feeling when you have the hatred feeling you have to do the realizing part not the acting part the acting is the realizing you should not do something like uh, too quickly you should not get upset you should not think as a failure uh, like a loser you should not think like that you should think you should realize the vyapada nivarana that is enough you are paying attention you are aware of the the vyapada nivarana within your mind then it is enough to uh, get rid of this vyapada nivarana so then we are going to talk about the how we can suppress vyapada nivarana steps for that there are the freedom of mind the, because this is the translation of the previous pali text uh then the freedom of mind through loving kindness because atti bikkave metta cheto vimutti my dear disciples there is a uh, very powerful cause to suppress this vyapada nivarana that is called the metta cheto vimukti and paying wise attention to that there is the freedom of mind through the loving kindness we call the metta cheto vimukti freedom of mind through the loving kindness this is called the metta cheto vimukti is the metta jana the absorption levels or the jhanas you have gained by developing the metta object by level, by developing the loving kindness you can uh, you can achieve the jhanas you can achieve the absorption concentrations this is called the metta cheto vimukti if someone is uh, paying attention wisely to this uh, metta cheto vimukti the jhanas of the um, loving kindness how we can paying wise attention to this uh, metta cheto vimukti you realize you like uh, contemplate about the benefits we call the metta nisansa metta nisansa be, me, means the benefits of the loving kindness if you are having the in the metta nisansa sutta uh, 11 11 benefits are stated or listed when someone is having the absorption levels of the uh, metta when someone someone is having the metta jhana he is experiencing these 11 benefits of the loving kindness you so you have to uh, contemplate you have to recall you have to think wisely about these benefits of the metta jhana that is called the uh, wise attention to metta cheto vimukti through giving frequently wise attention to the freedom of, of mind through the loving kindness that means you are paying attention you are contemplating about the metta cheto vimukti Uh, with the wisdom un arisen ill will does not arise this you are not with the you are not with the vyapada nivarana when you are paying attention about the benefits of the loving kindness uh, jhana or the metta jhana then the this un arisen or the un arisen ill will will not come to the emerging state they will be there as the latent tendency we have not eradicated the latent tendencies it should be done by the vipassana by the uh, noble paths but here we are suppressing still we are with the latent tendencies of patiganusaya but the problem is that latent tendency will come to the uh, emerging state of our mind we will having the angry we will having the hatred mind we will having the ill will 
this is the problem we are experiencing not the latent tendencies the root cause is the latent tendency but uh, in this condition we cannot do anything about the latent tendency it can be done by developing the vipassana and by having the uh, by experiencing the noble paths we can completely eradicate these latent tendencies as well but uh, until that we have to suppress this we have to suppress we have to like refrain from these latent tendencies come to the emerging state so when someone is paying attention wisely when someone is contemplating about the uh, metta cheto vimukti or the metta jhana or the benefits of the metta jhana with the wisdom then unrisen uh, vyapada nivarana will not come to the emerging state then uh, when you are if you are with the vyapada nivarana they are also come to the vanishing stage they will you can have the ability to suppress them eliminate them come not completely but to a longer period that is the main cause to eliminate or the suppress of this vyapada nivarana what is the uh, the main cause you have to uh, pay the wise attention towards the benefits of the che metta cheto vimukti you have to think about the benefits when someone is having the metta jhana what are the benefits he will experience then your mind tends to do something towards the loving kindness you try to develop the loving loving kindness every time all the time then the vyapa the nivarna will not have a chance to come to the emerging state in our mind that is the main thing what we can follow to suppress this vyapada nivarana then we have six things so as a behavior we can develop these six things six things are conducive to the abandonment of ill will that means in order to suppress or the eradicate this vyapada nivarana then you have to follow uh, you have to practice these things uh, as a habit because earlier in the satipattana sutta we said uh, you should not act too quickly when you have vyapada nivarana these six things are because you as a habit if you are doing if you are practicing these things there should not be a suitable Uh, area suitable environment to emerge this vyapada nivarana but uh, when you have the vyapada nivarana in your mind you just have to do to realize that you have to pay the attention wisely to that vyapada nivarana you have to make you aware about that vyapada nivarana then it will decay you cannot do these six things when you have the angry in your mind these six things are the habits you have to develop as a practice within you then the vyapada nivarana will not have a suitable environment to emerge as the vyapada nivarana there is a two ways when you have vyapada nivarana in your mind you have to act like you have to aware about the vyapada nivarana you have to realize you have to identify you have to pay the wise attention towards the vyapada nivarana then it will decay when you have the vyapada nivarana in the day to day life you have to do you have to practice these six things these are two methods these six things if you are practicing if you are practicing these six things as a habit day to day life then these vyapada nivarana will not have a chance to come into the emerging state what are those six things uh, let's go one by one what is this the first thing is metta nimitta sa uggaho when you do the loving kindness meditation you have to learn about that thing how to do uh, the loving kindness how to spread the loving kindness then you uh, that is called the metta nimitta sugga when you are learning about how to develop the tranquility using the loving kindness object meditative object then when someone is learning about the meditative process meditative uh, steps then this loving this vyapada nivarana will not have chance to come to the emerging state then the next uh, thing is next step is metta bhavana anu yoga that means not only the learning learning is a different thing learning about uh, the loving kindness meditation is a different thing but practically 
you try to you attempt to develop the loving kindness within yourself is the metta bhavana anuyoga when someone is developing the loving kindness meditation then the uh, the vyapada nivarna will not have a chance to emerge within our mind third one is kamma sakatha we have to uh, contemplate about this kamma uh, we all have these results bad things or good things based on the kamma i'm getting bad experiences because of my kamma someone else is having good experiences because of his kamma he has done something good he is experiencing good i have done something bad and i am experiencing bad likewise we are getting the results because based on the kamma what we have done we are not getting the results by the others kammas we are getting the results by our own kamma that is called the kamma sakata when you are contemplating about that about that kamma the uh, true nature of the kamma and vipaka the uh, actions and the results when you are have that kamma sakata jnana or the kamma sakata wisdom then when you are contemplating wisely because i'm experiencing these things good or bad this is based on, based on my own previous kammas what i have done in this life previously or in the previous lives so then the vyapada nivarana will not arise because you know there is nothing to be get angry because this i am experiencing bad because not of the uh, wrong behavior of the others wrong behavior of the uh, of something i am experiencing the experience in this bad situation because of my own vipaka of my own kamma then he can like refrain from the vyapada nivarana then vyapada nivarana will not come to the emerging state that is another step then the uh, patisankhana bahulata that then that is means that paying wise attention every time patisankhana patisankha means the knowledge the wisdom when you are like uh, mainly in the many times you are in a, in each and every time you are working you are acting with the wisdom you are paying attention whatever you do wherever you go whatever you experiencing you are paying attention wisely this is good or bad this is uh, good this will create good results for me this will uh, will this create bad results for me or the others so then you are paying wise attention to these uh, surrounding and the environment and to your experiences and you are act by you what you are doing by your uh, body word or the mind then you can suppress your vyapada nivarana for a longer period if you are uh, like uh, developing or following this thing as a habit as a practice fifth one is kalyana mittata kalyana mittata means noble spiritual friendship when you are uh, associating good friends we call the kalyana mitta or the sapurisa when you are associating good friends who are helping to uh, eliminate the vyapad if you are associating friends bad friends who are helping to develop the anger within yourself you have to refrain from them you have to avoid them and you have to associate good friends noble friends who are helping to eliminate the vyapad nivarana who is giving advices admonishment to you how to develop loving kindness how to do the meditation how to do the vipassana how to practice yourself as a good person then this associating good noble spiritual friends also a fact or the step to develop uh, to uh, eliminate or the suppress this vyapada nivarana sappaya katha when you are always engaging with some nonsenses when you are uh, speaking something which is a help or a favor uh, for a vyapada nivarana then you have to refrain from those kind of asappaya katha the bad speeches bad conversation you have to eliminate suppress or you have to refrain from those uh, you have to control your word you have to uh, like uh, give up those uh, speeches or the conversation and you have to engage with good conversation which helps to uh, develop the loving kindness in with within you uh, which will help which will uh, give you some advices admonishment towards the practice 
or towards the uh, loving kindness meditation. These kind of good conversations, conducive conversations you have to associate. You have to engage with these kind of uh, good or sappaya kata, conducive conversation. This is also a step you have to follow. You have to practice as a habit in, in your day-to-day -day life. Then, when attaining absorption concentration, when attaining absorption concentration jhana, that's means jhana samadhi, among the five jhana factors, zest, which is called the piti, suppresses the ill will. Because earlier we have talked about the karma chanda, sensual desire. What is suppress the uh, karma chanda? It is done by the ekagata jananga. It is done by this one-pointedness mental factor or the jhana factor. This ekagata suppresses the karma chanda or the sensual desire. Likewise, in this Vyapada Nivarana, the mental factor of piti or the zest or the rapture, this we can call the jananga, jhana factor or the mental factor, this is suppressing the Vyapada Nivarana. So, when you develop the piti within yourself, the Vyapada vanishes. This is the way how you develop the jhana and by uh, like suppressing or the eliminating the, these uh, five hindrances. Each and every hindrance is eliminated or suppressed by the uh, specific jhananga. For Vyapada, is, that is piti or the zest or the rapture. Zest suppresses ill will. And when ill will is completely eliminated, it is done by the uh, one noble path which is called the Anagami Magga. We know Kama Raga and Patigha. These two Sanyojanas are eliminated completely by the Anagami Magga. We call the, the path of the non-returning. Path of the non-returning. That is the time, that is the occasion you can eliminate it. You can eliminate completely this Vyapada Nivarana from your mind. It will never come to the emerging state uh, because you have completely eradicated, eliminated the latent tendency we call the Patighanuse. Without having the Patighanuse, the latent tendency, that Patigha or the Vyapada Nivarana will not come to the emerging state because you have no that potency to have that Vyapada Nivarana because you have completely eradicated by the path of non-returning or the path of anagami or the anagami magga this karma chanda uh, this uh, byapada or the uh, ill will hindrance or the hatred mind is completely eradicated with the latent tendencies then how the relief from the byapada helps concentration we have discussed about this thing in the previous sermon also when you have uh, eliminated the Kama Chanda Nivarana, we discussed how it helps to develop the concentration. Likewise, the same way, when these five hindrances, because you are eliminating the five hindrances by the five Jananga at once, because you are doing something, various things to uh, eliminate that specific ja hindrances, uh, but you eliminate these hindrances come, uh, or suppress these hindrances at once by each and every jhananga or the jhana factors. When you uh, suppress, when these five hindrances are suppressed and when someone contemplates his mind, the joy, the pamojja, the early stage of the piti, we call the young piti, the uh, joy or the pamojja arises. When, when someone is experiencing the joy, when, someone, when the joy is there in his mind, then the rapture or the piti or the zest arises. When someone is experiencing the piti, when someone is having piti or the rapture or the zest in his mind, then the serenity is there. Serenity will arise in his mind. We call the pasadhi uh, in his body because he can feel very, very comfortable feeling in his body. He is having a very convenient body because of this Pasaddi. The cause was the rapture of the cyst. Because of the cyst, the serenity or the Pasaddi arises in his body. When he is experiencing that Pasaddi or the serenity in his body, then the pleasure, 
the sukha arises in his body. We call the pleasure, the sukha. That is a feeling. Sukha feeling he is experiencing in his body. Now his mind is very calm. He is having the pamojja and piti. And his body, he is experiencing the serenity, pasadhi and the sukha or the pleasure. Then when the pleasure is there and mind tends to concentrate, concentration, when you are paying attention to a meditative object, you can easily concentrate, you can easily focus the mind towards that meditative object. So this is how when you suppress this Vyapada Nivarana along with the other hindrances, then first is the Pamoja arises, then the uh, piti zest arises, then the Pasadhi arises in your body, the, we call the serenity, and then uh, because of that, the pleasure arises in your body, we call the Zuka. Uh, when you have the Zuka and the, all the other causes, then the mind tends to concentrate. The mind tends to concentrate because your mind uh, can focus very easily the meditative objects. Then you can easily develop the tranquility and have the uh, Upachara Samadhi, we call the excess concentration levels and the absorption concentration levels, we call the Jhana or the Appana Samadhi. This is how we have, we, this is how uh, we can achieve the higher levels of the concentration by suppressing or the eliminating these Nivaranas. So today uh, we have uh, learned about some facts some aspects about the Vyapada Nivarana. What is Vyapada Nivarana? What is Vyapada? We can go to the, we can go to the uh, topics what we have discussed. We have uh, discussed, we have learned about what is ill will, what are the definitions given in the Dhamma, in the Tipitaka or the commentaries about this Vyapada. How we can realize, how we can identify this Vyapada Nivarana according to Dhamma and the behavior when it comes to the emerging state in our mind how this Vyapada Nivarana or the anger uh, uh, behave how it act in our mind what are the uh, effects I will experience when I have that Vyapada Nivarana and what are the causes to arise this Vyapada what are the, uh, the very closest causes and what are the other causes to arise this um, Vyapada Nivarana in our mind and the simile or the metaphor with regards to the Vyapada Nivarana. We talked when someone is having the bile disorder, when someone is having that sickness, it is someone like having the Vyapada Nivarana. That person cannot enjoy the food, the sickness of anger cannot uh, enjoy the Buddha's teaching and the higher results in this spiritual practice. And then we talked about how we should identify Vyapada and when we have that Vyapada Nivarana in the emerging state, how we should act, how we should think, how we should uh, realize or identify this Vyapada Nivarana. Then, how, uh, then we talked about how we can suppress Vyapada Nivarana and what are the steps what we can follow. Uh, we call that Mitta Nimittasa Yoniso Manasikar. That means when you are thinking about, when you are contemplating wisely with the wisdom about the benefits of the metta cheto vimukti, then about the metta jhana, the jhana which is taken, which is given by the loving kindness meditation. When you are learning, when you are uh, thinking, contemplating about the benefits, then the, you can suppress these things and we uh, uh, explain the other six things you have to develop as habits in your day-to-day -day life. How you should practice yourself in order to suppress, in order to refrain from this Vyapada Nivarana. And finally, we talked about how the relief, how the suppressing of the Vyapada Nivarana helps concentration. So this is the uh, today's Dhamma talk. With this uh, summary, I am going to conclude uh, today's Dhamma sermon. So uh, I think you have got a very uh, detailed explanations about this Vyapada Nivarana and how it arises and how you can uh, vanish those Vyapada uh, Nivaranas and what are the things we have to follow in order to uh, refrain from the Vyapada Nivarana. So I think you, it would be a very uh, good Dhamma sermon 
to identify to have a good knowledge about the vyapada nivarana so we can talk about the other nivaranas as well so i am going to uh, finish the dhamma talk we are going to conclude the dhamma sermon today we have accumulated so many merits uh, during this dhamma sermon i have preached dhamma uh, dhamma desana and you have listened to dhamma dhamma savana and we are like paying wise attention to the dhamma facts which is called the yoniso manasikara so all these uh, un- wholesome deeds all these meritorious deeds we should transfer to our parents to our teachers uh, who have uh, taught us dhamma may they receive this uh, meritorious things meritorious deed and may they have the capacity to achieve their uh, wished paths and the uh nibbana and we also uh, have to transfer these merits to the uh, the relatives who have passed away and all the devas brahmas may all these get receive these merits and may they have uh, desirable results and may they have the capacity or the potency to achieve their wished noble paths and fruitions and to achieve the ultimate liberation and i i also wanted to wish you all uh, because of these great merits you have accumulated during this dhamma sermon listening to the dhamma uh, may this will be a great cause to have desirable results good uh, physical and mental health in this life and desirable results uh, in this life and may you have very good uh, lives in future as well until you achieve the ultimate nibbana and this will be a great powerful course to achieve your wished paths noble paths and the fruitions and ultimately uh, the liberation the nibbana as you have wish so uh, may you all have the blessings of the triple gems